fishing, buddy. <laughs> One of these is called back to back fishing. <laughs> because, oh, yes! Oh! oh. Wow! About 10 times bigger than anything I've ever caught before. <laughs> that is brilliant. And that is what you come to British Columbia for. Welcome to another edition of You Guessed It. Totally awesome fishing. It's the Vintage Series. Going to take a look back at some great fishing I had over in British Columbia. The Fraser River, we were fishing for a giant sturgeon. I took a British group over there, been over there a few times, took a big group over there. We had outlandish fishing over there at a place called Chilliwack. Check it out, see what you think. This is vintage fishing. This is what it was like years ago. And do you know what? I think it's even better now. Pretty big sturge. I mean, what realistically the chances of catching them? Well, Graham, they're they're here for a few days, so I, I think that the chances of them catching a real big sturgeon over 300 pounds is pretty good. We're going to get a lot of fish in the 100 to 150 pound bracket, and those are spectacular fish. But we're going to get a full spectrum, right from two feet right up to. We might even get a fish that's 10 feet long, which would be five, six hundred pounds. Sturgeon on the river for many, many years, handed down from my father, and yes, it's very much a secret. As a matter of fact, it's so secret we have to put it in ladies' tights just to keep you from looking at it real closely. But basically, it's a salmon roll. We have some marinades that we use, and it's uh, like a family secret. Back and forth, looking for sturgeon along. This is the bottom here at about 25 to 26 feet of water, and hopefully we'll find a target just above the bottom here. That'll be a sturgeon, and then we'll try anchor above them and catch them. Clamp onto it nice and tight. Got him? Okay. Right hand right in the middle and then flip him up just like he's swimming. Nice fish. <laughs> what sort of weight is that, Fred? It's about 40 pounds. 40 pounds. About 50 inches. We'll actually measure him here. There he goes. That's healthy, Fred. That's healthy. Let's go get a bigger one. What do you think? Nice one. Nice one. <laughs> Comments, Paul. First version. That was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Just unbelievable, aren't they? And how long did that take? Five minutes, ten minutes? It's that. It was, we were here probably about seven minutes, and it took. What? And I've, I've lost one already. <laughs> yeah. <that's right. laughs> One down. Wind, wind down and then you lift up. There we go. Line's coming up. And the line's coming up. And don't drop the rod, you keep the... Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, yes! Oh, that's a nice fish. That is a nice fish. I saw the splash, I didn't see the fish. I was trying to film and look at salmon down the back as well. <laughs> here it comes! Oh, man. oh it's got a big yes. fish, big fish. <laughs> Oh, good job. Oh, lovely. Like oh, is this fish serious? <laughs> oh, yeah. Serious when you get them in the boat. Stop. Pretty good. That's, that's where they shake it. <laughs> oh, he's taking off. What you can do, Brian, when you get a lot of line out, is you can actually put your thumb on the reel a little bit. Like, you don't have to hang onto the handle. Okay. No, no. 
Oh, you're gonna burn your hand oh, just, just like that, just just a little bit of pressure. Oh, yeah. And if it gets too much, you'll burn your thumb. So just like just, you just can put, but don't put too much pressure on them. The other thing you can do when you get a lot of line out, instead of burning your thumb, you can actually put it into over drag right there. You can stop them though, can you, Brian? You know when they're running, you can't no, stop them. No, why? I mean, even, I mean, this, this rod's much more powerful than anything I'm used to, but you can feel that. Yeah. You, know? you get the sensation when they're shaking their head, you know? Well, yeah. You, when there's no stretch in that braid. When it, uh, when it shakes the head, you feel it's come off, because it's... There you go! Oh, oh, man. oh it's got a big head. Yeah. <laughs> big Getting him there, close. We go. there he is, he's right there. Oh yeah. That's a hundred pounds, right? That's a uh, hundred pounds, yeah. I think we can actually handle this guy probably in the boat. Um, gotta be sort of real close to it for as big as we want to handle. But I'm gonna put on two sets of gloves and I'll try it. <laughs> the guy, now he might not like this here. I'll just see what he's going to do when I touch him. No, I think he's okay. You think he's okay, Greg? Oh. Okay, just take the pressure off the rope, off the Okay, and if you want to swing a little bit of line out, right? put your thumb on the reel. Yeah. Okay, pull that back. Yeah, let me take that line up. Out. Okay, good. Yeah. Leave it back up. You the mouth, and you can slip your uh, slip his wall, Fred. <laughs> slip, your, slip your head into here and grab on just like that. We're not talking to the president okay. here. And I'm going to let go of the head, and it's your 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 responsibility. Okay, you want to on them? Okay, you got him. Yeah. Okay. Wow, he's a big oh, oh, boy. Yeah. Jesus. Okay. Oh man. Okay, now I need you to put in the middle a little more support. There we go. Awesome. There it is. Straight as a river. Sturgeon, folks. Okay. That's what it's all about. Gotta get some stills. That is a big fish. One of these, Yeah, I think At least. 20. Oh, yeah. A little more like it. Okay, there's another one. Good size, Okay, and I will let go of the tail, and I'll just spin them around. And we'll just take them a couple wow. minutes to make them. You can hang on to them if you want. In the mouth. Just keep. Amazing width across the head there. Yes. Got to be 12 inches across there. Is it? There he goes. He's fine. Wow. He's fine. Let's see the handshake. <laughs> okay, run him. Slide whenever you. Up here a little bit. I think we're both pretty slimed there, Fred. <laughs> slimed up. Nothing, right. like, nothing like getting slimed together. Oh, that was brilliant, Brian. Right? That's, yep. some, that's uh, about 120 pound fish. That's 70 about, inches. About 10 times bigger than anything I've ever caught before. <laughs> Congratulations. That is brilliant. Good Thank you. Job. Good, well job. Right. Good job. Wonderful. Oh. That's worth the trip for. It's brilliant. <laughs> Good, because I can take the next strike. <laughs> <laughs> Drop it again, Fred. Yeah. Oh, back again. Come on. There we go. Whoa. Oh, load him up, Fred. Right. Okay. Here he comes. Here you go! Oh, 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 yeah! Look at that fish! Nice. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Double hook, you say, Fred? Yeah, it went through the lip and then into the nose. There we go. Okay, okay let's get that out of the way. Put that glove on, Paul. Yeah. How big, Fred? I'd say he's about probably an inch or an inch and a half shorter than the other one, and he's probably about 20 pounds lighter. So probably around 100 pounds. It's a nice fish. fish. Fred, I got a buy on this rod then. Not already. That's what I was having on there. <laughs> <laughs>
down there and nice fish. 7-4 and the other one we didn't quite get a tape fish on. <laughs> but anyway, uh, was getting it on that other bait I gave you, Dan. Which bait? The, the spring, secret the, one. The spring, oh, the spring stuff. And they took it quite well, so. Anyways, we thought we'd come up and get pictures of you guys fighting some fish. Will they always jump, Fred? They don't always jump. Here he comes, here he comes. Oh, just dropped the rod there so he might not come up. It's right, it's right on the surface there. Sometimes they jump uh, once, sometimes they jump a half a dozen times, and other times they don't jump. Is it a good one? Right on. And it took hundreds of yards of line off. Oh, right on. So if he comes back this way, I might have to get out of your way then. Uh, he's doing okay. He's way back there. Yeah. Did he jump yet, Danny? Or? Yeah, he got one good jump out of him. Okay. So he's coming again. <laughs> that sort of doesn't spook it, is it? Take that lead off. He's a pretty hefty fish to be bringing in here, I think. Why don't you, Dan? Why don't you just, we can get some good photos from here. Just get a hold. Good idea. Next time he kicks him, grab his tail. Jeez. Get a hold of that tail with both hands. Get down at the skinny part of the tail. Yeah, right get the skinny down. part. Yeah, watch it right right there. <laughs> switch. switch it, switch it on. Okay, and let him pull him straight. There you go. Right into the fault here. Yeah, just switch it on. Right Got there. it? How big, John? 71. Nice fish. Almost six feet. Almost top fish of the day. <laughs> Now you, no, you take this. I'll get him in a minute. Fred, I want to try and get jump shot. Okay. You tell me when he's going to jump. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Here he comes. Yes. Woo. Wow. Okay, here. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, uh... Good job. He's fresh, Fred. He's, He's fresh. Still, yeah. He's <laughs> yeah. Smoke sturgeon is just awesome. Really? Oh, it's incredible. Which is why they were commercial, I guess. Well, in uh, Chinatown, you buy them in the fish market there. You're paying around 12 bucks. Okay. Let's just see if we can. I'm going to try to bring him into the boat here. If you want to put that glove on. Right. You got him? Hold him there, hold him there. A little bit of chat about it, Fred, how it took it on. What do you think, Brian? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. It's like a... It's about a 40 pound fish. Yeah. And we can do a quick measurement on him. Relaxing time. <laughs> I can't <laughs> test it there. <laughs> okay. Twist 59 inches, guys. Okay, okay. slide him back into the water. I can grab his mouth there for you. Got him? I got him. Make it look a little bit like a shark. There he goes. Oh, man. <laughs> got him again. Come on, John. Is that his elbow naked? I bet it is, yeah. <laughs> 75 inches. Oh, that's the biggest of the day. But yes, with a one inch you beat us by. You got a 74? Yeah. Nice one. How many fish was that then, Graham? We, we <laughs> stuck three together. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 
would be wonderful. Okay, that was a great jump, and unfortunately, Graham, we missed it. What do you got on there, Graham? Uh, sturgeon. Sturgeon. <laughs> we just had a nice jump. He looks like about a six and a half, maybe seven foot fish. And you're lucky, he's gonna come up. Here he comes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. How's the bucket? How's the knackers? <laughs> Okay, you guys want to pull that uh, bucket out of the way? Thanks, guys. Awesome. Awesome. Do you have uh, another battery, Graham, or no? Is the battery going down on that? Yep. Okay, I'll put it on my Is it enough to get another jump? Or? Well, it's flashing, so. Oh, look at this. Oh, what's the fighting belt? Well, if you keep his head coming, hard to say. Hard to say. What's that belt? Oh, well, we got a bit of a swirl out of him anyway. An alligator, a crocodile. There's the enemy, the other boat. Put a belt on him, Fred. We, are, we already had it on him. But it had nothing to do with fishing. <laughs> it's called a garter belt. Graham, you need the uh, belt or. Yeah, I'm going to go for the buff, had you. Am I a man or a mouse? He's very nuts. He's very nuts. He's around the anchor, John. Uh oh, anchor. So, how much are these rods, Fred? Uh, well, if you break one, <laughs> <laughs> they're about 300 bucks for those ones. Those are the inexpensive ones. And like we said before, if he pulls you in, whatever you do, don't let go of the rod. Now, Fred, we taking what? Five fish today. This is our fifth today, yeah. And oh, this is right. Oh, what up, oh yeah. And he's going to go underneath too. Oh, whoa! <laughs> he doesn't want any part of coming near this boat. Yeah, that's a great fish. Fred, what's this line on here? We're running a 130 pound test main line and 80 pound leader on this. This is that braid, yeah. That's a braided line. Yeah, Western filament. Oh, he is going. Yeah, pretty good. Bending these one piece rods. Yeah, well, the fiberglass takes a lot of abuse and and there's lots of flexibility there. So. I need flexibility, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Plenty of flexibility. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you, you figure I'm trying to whip them back pretty quick, but they're big fish. Well, you can try, but usually they just go where they want. Look at them old biceps. Oh, there he is, right here. Oh, Ooh, yeah. He's that big. <laughs> and under he goes. That's a good job. Excellent. Can we, want to take Can we take him in the feet? Can you yeah. take that horse, Brian? No problem, Brian. Yeah. So what I want to mention as well is the fact that with Fred's guides here, you can actually get in the water and release these fish. They provide a nice pair of these chest waders, and you're in shallow water on the edge of the banks of the Fraser. Get in with the fish. My hands are still shaking. Got like wire mesh gloves on. It's along the sides of their flanks. I've got these things called along the lateral line called scutes, and they're very, very sharp. So Fred supplies these as well. Big braces, some kinky gloves, <laughs> and then we go. Okay, you still got in there, good man. There's a beer in there. Pop over. Yeah, just watch so he doesn't get into the pump ring. If he goes under, just tip the rocket down. His turn. His turn? Okay, perfect. Bring him in. You haven't lost any anglers doing this, have you, Fred? Uh, well, dragged not, in the not water. this year. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to play well last year. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to try to get a uh, piece of rope around his tail here. Just ease look. him in like this, Fred, you tell Just me what to do. Gently bring him in. I'm not going to disturb him. That is a clog. That is a nice fish. Yeah. No, it's probably not going to like this very much. Totally awesome. As my eight-year-old boy would say when I let him off a math homework. Yeah. Okay, Graham, if you can uh one hand. Okay, right to the 
I'm in the fold there. You got the awful close, no? Not that big, though. Not bad, though. 73 inches. Mm. What sort of weight is that going to go for it? Uh, well, it's a good six footer. I would say, well, he's over 100. Probably, I don't know, 120. And these are the shoppings, yeah? Yeah, these, these are bony platelets on the back. These have been wore down over years. But on the sides, these are stainless steel glass. You see how that. Oh, it catches catch you, catch your finger. Ooh. Yeah, very, very sharp. We grab the tail. You come around the town, we'll probably come from picture. Brian, can you grab a steel for us there? Yeah. Okay, we got shadows here. We actually got to come back. Come around in the sun. There you go. Awesome. You sure this fish is only 110? Uh, That's right. He's... 100, I'm conservative. 120. Oh, good man. Yeah. yeah. That's too busy. 150 <laughs> in the bar. It'll be 150 in the bar tonight. Oh, yeah. How about that? When you come to British Columbia for? Oh, so anyway, buddy. He's going to hit the boat. Oh, now there's problems. <laughs> here he goes. He's under the boat. He's away. And he's away. Graham? Fred? I really appreciate that. Not my I pleasure. I really appreciate it. My that. pleasure. Okay, these are uh, lamprey eel, about 14 inches in length, and they're native to the Fraser River. They swim up, they follow the salmon, they migrate up with them. They have a suction mouth on that actually allows them to suck onto the salmon, and uh, they'll suck the blood out of the salmon. But they're natural to the river, they make excellent sturgeon bait. Taper, and the reason for that is twofold. One, so it allows us to tie the tapered end up on the line, and also it'll lay in the water and it won't rotate too much. It won't spin on the leader. Just feed it down to the body cavity. <laughs> and we just what are you using to bind that on with there, Fred? You could use a number of things. This is actually magic thread. Yeah. The magic thread is, is nice and easy to use. You don't have to actually tie knots on it. You just twist it up and it binds on itself so there's no knots required. I think Paul's got a fish on here. You got a fish at the same time there, Paul? Yeah, it looks like it. So with that tapered cut, it just allows us to tie right up to the top. Does a great job. And the magic thread, you can just do a couple half hitches around the leader. And it's a done deal. Wow. And that's pretty tough bait, I imagine that. Very tough. It's it's almost like rubber. And you'll notice the amount of blood. And that's what attracts the sturgeon to the bait. yards of line. So Fred's pulled the anchor up, we're drifting down with the current using the boat trying to catch him up. But Fred seems to think it was a good solid hookup, could be a big fish. Woo. Getting some line back now. Hundred and a bit. Hundred and a bit, yeah. You notice this one here, he's hooked, he's hooked back of the mouth, so he was actually probably sitting on top of the bait. Is that yeah. why he, is that why he cranked off so much line? I, I think so. Okay, just take the pressure off. Look at that. Look at how little skin. See how hard Graham was pulling on that? Look at how little skin he had him by. Eighth of an inch. Right there. It's enough though for enough. Can we just <laughs> lift him out and look at him a little bit? Had a fight with the mother-in-law. Should have measured that one. That was, uh, what size? Probably, probably was the 85. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh come on. Oh, oh, Fred, uh, no problem. problem. Good job. No, I was probably.
Is the so, fish of the day. That is the big fish that black cat. That is an animal. <laughs> I have to say that is an animal. It's got belly to it as well, isn't it, Fred? That one. Big time. That is a big fish. How are we doing, Pa? Knackered mouth. Knackered. Knackered. <laughs> That's very polite. What would he say when he hooked the first one? Was it, Fred? <laughs> no, it sure the hell wasn't. Okay, he's ours. He is ours. Do you want to change it? How do you it? Thank you, I just drained off. <laughs> Free shower. Hey. That is monster. Oh. You reckon 250 pounds, Fred? Oh. I would say... Perfect time in the last... I would say this is probably at least 250. He's probably getting more like uh, closer to 300. He's is that a fact? Yeah, he's only 90 inches long, but he's very he's got, fat. He's got a lot of belly there. I think he wants to go that way, but here he goes. Woo! Nice fish. Good to see it go back. Awesome. Yeah, that's got to be 280 to 300 pound fish. And the best Woo. thing about it, it lives to swim another day. Hey! Last, <laughs> last, 10, minutes, last 10 minutes of the day, right. buddy. It ain't over till the fat lady sings. Yeah. Woo. Woo. I'm knackered and I knew I wasn't even fighting this thing. Here he comes, here he comes. Keep the pressure. Don't drop the rod tip when he's uh, coming up. Oh. oh, look at this. Oh! oh. Wow! Oh! oh! Wow! I think that's the big one we saw, guys. Yep. Well, hey, there was, was this a good move? <laughs> hey, Graham, what do you think? Almost a triple header. That was mostly a triple header, that one. Yeah. Paul, you let that fish go just moments too early. I'm just going to put her on pause for a second here. Yeah. He's coming up, he's coming up, he's coming. Yeah. Fred, it's a good fish, what do you reckon? Uh, he's probably, well, he's over 100. Probably, I don't know, 140? I think your guess on when he first jumped is probably pretty accurate. Good man, good man. Fred, is that too big to bring in board? What size do you stop at bringing him in board? Uh, that's getting a little bit big. Okay, yeah. we'll, let, we'll, we'll let him go here then, yeah? yeah. What? That's, uh, that's over 150. Is that right? Yeah. 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 So Fred, you reckon this fish is uh, around a one, one fifth mark? It's, it's rated in a 79, 80 inches. We'll what would that fish have been that Paul lost? Well, well, that he was bigger. He looked fatter. He was bigger and fatter, so probably a seven footer, maybe maybe plus, so probably 250. Really? This one here is... Uh, Looks like he's about 170, 180 pounds. At 170, 180? Yeah. It's it nice feels thing. like 180. Yeah, yeah. oh yeah. These little barbels are sensors. They use these to feel to find their bait. They also have, you see, these are all sensors. These are all uh, devices used to smell their food. So these are like the, the paws you get on the shark's nose, you exactly. know, where they're picking up the, they, they have, the scent in the water. Exactly. And these, I can see that mouth pumping in and out. Is that how they suck on the bottom? This is a big suction mouth. You see that? Oh, cow, yeah. Yeah, a big guy. You'll see in the, on the tongue, on the back, you've got ridges. They don't have any teeth. They don't? No, no teeth, but you can see that when they, they have a tremendous amount of suction power. Yeah. And uh, you can also see here too, there's an edge. Way back in time, they had teeth. Is that fact? Yeah, it's, it's just like the sharks here. Don't worry about the phone. Leave the fire. Okay. On his nose, Fred. Right on his nose, across the back of the head. We go to the fork of the tail. Oh, -ho. just give him a little stretch here. Yeah. There we go. It is. There we go. 70, 72 inches to the fork. 72 inches. That's the sixth quarter. So what sort of uh, weight they're going to go it's for? About 110, 120 pound fish. 120 pounds. Yeah, and and that's to tell you, after this British expedition, we must have got over 100 sturgeon from this British Columbia River on the Fraser, thanks to Fred and his super guys. And we'll just take one last look at this guy and see if you want to come over here.
Yeah, and he wants to go. So, let's lift him up. No, nope. he oh, wants to swim he away. Ah, come back, let's take you out. Come on, here we go. Beautiful. Get, off. Hey. Get it while you can. Uh -huh. What a beauty, Fred. That's a beautiful fish. I think there might be another English guys over here next year. <laughs> There he goes. Away they go. And he's happy. Put it there, buddy. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure, I can tell you. Anytime you want me to take you fishing, let me know. Yeah, you're a hell of a man. <laughs> Jed. Fucking <laughs> 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 my head's going into orbit with this video. It's a real thing, right? Cool. Don't you laugh? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a nodding dog. They call them noddies. How long since your rod was really bent? When did you last measure your fish with both arms extended? And why have I forgotten my lines? This is British Columbia, where the fish come in one size, and that's big. I've just joined a group of British anglers over here on an expedition, trying to find the giant white sturgeon. Shit. Now, I'm really wet now because the bilge pump is going up my trouser leg. Fuck. <laughs> oh, well, it's all in the, all in the aid of science. Sorry, did I get the camera? Alright, there's a big guy. This is a bigger buck. I can't even quite hold on to the dude. He's being quite feisty. This is one of the larger specimens. I've just about ruined the camera here so far. The chances of catching your first salmon were slim, think again. But here in British Columbia, you have probably the best chance in the world of catching one. And if you time your trip right, you don't catch one, you catch five different species of salmon. You have the pink salmon, Sockeye salmon, you get uh, Chinook salmon, you can get. I've forgotten. If you want to get the salmon, you've got to get to the river. What a dog, why don't you wrap up? Shut up, you bloody. If you. What a dog. Oh, God. Take the battery out.